I'm a documentary photographer, so I photograph families and weddings. And what that means is just capturing what happens in front of the camera without me interfering. Boy. <laughs> Documentary family photography is different to sort of more lifestyle or traditional family photography in that I just come along on a family adventure and just capture what happens naturally. Who's on the telly behind me? I love that. I love working with Sarah, like she makes it so easy. Like my kids can talk to her um, and she's so friendly. So like she's easy to approach, easy to get along with, super easy to work with. Do you want to try and have a picture of you and the kids? Yep. On the couch? Yep. Okay. Thank you, baby. Help. <laughs> if it's not going to work, that's cool. Okay, okay ready, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Families should have these type of photos taken um, to preserve the now, to preserve what life is like at this point in time. Beautiful girl. I just remember, unfortunately, I lost my dad as a child and whilst my mum and I do have photos, they don't capture the love and the fun father that I remember. And I really want to give that gift to families today. If we had a traditional family photographer, I don't think my kids would be smiling in any of the photos or they wouldn't actually be looking at, like, in the direction of the camera and it would have taken hours. Like my kids, one, they don't sit still. Um, two, if it's someone telling them just to sit there and to look at them, they won't do it. Like my family are outdoorsy, like to get muddy, clearly, <laughs> and like doing things together. So Sarah, it works so much better doing this kind of photo shoot for us. I feel this type of photography is really important for families to have because it captures the real essence of who you are. It's not put on for the camera. What I want is to capture those natural memories that, ha that happens every day. <laughs> Too cute.